Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can be a Visual Studio Code minimalist. Let's get started. Alright, so let's first look at the left hand pane here. And as you can see, it's pretty busy. You have open editors, uh, you have your file folder here, you got outline and npm scripts. I hardly ever use anything other than my open directory. So what I like to do is right click and I just disable everything except for my folders and once I've disabled everything you can see it just has the files in my working directory and that's the way I like to keep it. The next thing that you may want to do is actually disable this altogether. So you can actually toggle it with a keybind of control B and it will disable it and re-enable it and it's actually quite good just to do that when you're writing your code. So I have a JSON file here, and as you can see, when I do control B, I have a lot more space to work with. The next thing is, is you may want to change the location of this when you open it so your code doesn't move left and right all the time. As you can see, when I do control B, it sort of bounces around a bit. But if I do this, control shift P and go to toggle sidebar position, I can actually move it over to the right hand side. Some people use this and it makes it a little cleaner when you do the control B as it doesn't move your code around. But really, I, I think you would have to be left handed or something to use this. Um, I'm right handed, so I'm just going to move this back as it does look a little weird, but some of you may actually like that. Um, the next thing I want to show you is how you can toggle the mini map. So the mini map is right over here on the right hand side and I really don't find it that useful. It's really just too small to actually show you any information. All it really does is show you how far down the file you are and a lot of the times if you're keeping clean code your code file is going to be relatively short so it doesn't really matter that much and it's super easy to toggle on and off. All you need to do is go into the command palette and just search for minimap and you can just toggle it on and off. And you can actually bind this to a key if you want to, but I just like to have it off. And the next thing we can see here are what we call breadcrumbs. And it basically just shows you where you are within your code. So this is a JSON file and you can see the parent is the file and then it's web app servlet and then you go into the actual parameters a lot of the times you don't need this some people find it useful i do use it sometimes but i don't always like to use it it's not always that useful so to disable that you just toggle breadcrumbs so i'll just turn that off and you can see it's a little bit clear we got a little more space to work with and the last thing, of course, is Zen mode. So you can just search for Zen and you can see that it's actually hotkeyed to control K and then Z. And if you go into Zen mode, you can just get into the flow and do your code there. But I don't really use it that much. I like to just use the commands that I showed you. And that's just disabling the unnecessary things in your file navigator and then using control B to enable and disable it. So anyways, I hope this video helped. And if you're looking for more tips on how you can use Visual Studio Code, please go ahead and check out my other videos. Thanks so much, and I hope to see you in the next video.